Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi guys, we're back. I'm back. He's he's the special guest today. Introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Josh. Okay, yeah, basically what we're gonna do today is just read our personal statements that we submitted. I wouldn't say got us into NUS. We submitted with our application to NUS and he also. I submitted to SMU and NTU. And he got into all three. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah. So I'm just gonna read those briefly for you guys today because in the past video that I did on the application process to NUS, I got quite a few people asking me about the personal statement portion. So yeah. Uh, let's go! Yes, man. Okay, Josh is gonna start us off. Alright. <clears throat> At a young age, I've always been fixated by people with the ability to move audiences through speech, and better yet, with their physical efforts, bring better outcomes for their communities. Ten years ago, my family moved to Vietnam, and I've lived there ever since. During my time in Vietnam, I grew an interest in leadership. To pursue my interests, I started out by participating for student council in middle school and ran for class presidency at the start of high school. In order to develop various perspectives in leadership, I assisted in my friend's passion project here in Vietnam as a secretary. Throughout high school, I was looking for opportunities to grow. Four years ago, I was introduced to a community project named Saigon South English Camp, SSEC. SSEC is an English camp led and taught by high school volunteers. Every year, we provide learning of six subjects to underprivileged Vietnamese children in the Nian Bay district. Last year, I was appointed camp head. As head, I was to oversee the planning processes of the entire camp. With 40 plus members, we were able to provide an exciting and effective learning environment for over 150 Vietnamese students, ranging from ages 10 to 14 over the course of two weeks. SSEC's curriculum deviates from the average Vietnamese curriculum in order to present an alternative, more open way of learning. The most rewarding feeling comes when they've got a smile on their faces in the morning ready to learn. SSEC has garnered attention from local news sources and we've brought over international volunteers. Having been involved in this project from its, inception, from its inception, we put together the nuts and bolts of this project and served from teacher to executive board member to camp head. These transitions have given me the critical vantage points to fine tune my skills in leading. I aspire to be a consulate general. Taking charge of the camp made me realize the importance of transparency within communication, alongside the need for open-mindedness, for projects to reach a wider audience, and for all parties to work efficiently. At NUS, I plan to participate in student government to bring over my experiences and further assist my community. Nice. Wow. Yay. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing, amazing. So maybe fun. Josh, can you tell us about your like background? What kind of education background do you come from? Mm, yeah, so I studied in Vietnam for 10 years. Yeah. yeah, so he did actually study in uh, Singapore, even though he's Singaporean. He applied with which qualification? I did IB, International Baccalaureate. And I didn't really do well, so thankfully you don't have to score really high, okay? You got this. Oh, what's he studying now in uni? Uh, I'm now in communications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing an arts and social science degree. Very different from what I'm doing, but yay! Right. Yay, we love diversity. We love diversity. Yes, uh, I, I think I'm gonna read mine, but mine is like super long. It's I, I know I cut mine by a lot to fit the word limit for NUS, but this was what I started out with because I, I didn't save whatever I cut but it's the same idea, just that I cut it a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna read it. I'm on YouTube, do something. <laughs> do something, yo. Do something. Am I a barking seal? <laughs> okay. I took a more narrative approach, so I longed to wrap my hands around it. The shiny, smooth, PU-clad view. An abnormal desire people would say for an underage girl. My 14-year-old self trembled in excitement at the thought of the liberties it bestowed. How fast I scrambled into the driver's seat when my father agreed to give me lessons. Only as the car roared to a start and began to inch forward did I fully comprehend my responsibility. But I'm starting to feel like this isn't such a good idea, I said as I tightened my grip on the steering. Loosen up a little, I trust you, my dad reassured as he squeezed my tense shoulders. No joy can compare to that of conquering a fear. 
directing the beast of a machine down the narrow winding streets of the Kalapa Valley Hung Estate was no exception. Even more pronounced was this joy, knowing the stories the land told. It is where my father spent his childhood, harvesting 65 pound palm fruits, 65 pound palm fruits to support his 10 member family's livelihood, furiously fanning pits of coal to cook dinners, allowing stranded motorbikers to latch their foot onto his rickety but nonetheless running bike, taking half mile long journeys to fetch clean water or just to attend to biological needs. He's always been the boy who helps, even as his education opened doors to success beyond the oil palms. One might argue that's precisely how he broke away from the estate's poverty cycle. So many of my life's joys I have found with the help of my pa. He, he empowered me through the smallest of actions and littlest, littlest of moments. Our long talks over slowly melting ice cream, his inventive cooking, the rides to school at ungodly hours, his toothy, his toothy smile of confidence, even as the ding of his work mail notifications rang endlessly, he never failed to make time to land ahead. That moment of euphoria while driving spurred me to embark on a lifelong journey, one where I give back to the world with my actions, no matter the scale, with the same resilient spirit my father embodied. Thus far in my ongoing expedition, I have sought to make an impact on environmental sustainability. My first encounter with this form of activism was a voluntary stint at Eco Nights Malaysia, what started as a spontaneous decision during a school break spiraled into a full-fledged initiative. Encountering a like-minded friend and harnessing my knowledge in accounting, Miko Malaysia was born. Miko is not only a business increasing accessibility for eco-friendly products, but also a medium for raising awareness, which fulfills both my entrepreneurial streak and my desire to enact social change. With the same spirit of giving, I seek to influence. I pitch my ideas for innovation at competitions in hopes they emerge to be pragmatic solutions and write about my gastronomic adventures through my Instagram blog, Way to My Pounds, to share in my love of food. At school, I give back to its community by undertaking many roles in student organizations, be it through organizing a prom night that shines an eternal memory or recording a film that bear memory, I take pride in enhancing the student experience. Every learning opportunity that arises within the classroom at competitions and conferences in teams and organizations, I see to the motivation that my education will one day help another, just as my father did. Both literally and figuratively, my dad has always been my dad had always been in the passenger seat, accompanying me to my destination. Somewhere along the way though, he had to get off. I cleared and begged for him to stay, but he had reached his final stop. He exited the car and motioned for me to drive, and as I watched his figure grow increasingly smaller in the rear view, a spark of determination ignited within my being. I'll make him proud, steer the wheel to success, no matter where he's watching me from. Yay! That was my personal statement. Very long one, but uh, yeah, it's actually not supposed to be that long. Like I said, it's meant to be way shorter, just that this was what I started off with. And again, uh, for those who are new, I'm studying business analytics in NUS. Nothing to do with writing, but personal statement. We, we honestly don't know how much the personal statement influences the application, but yeah, write it well. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's it from us. Hope all the best for you guys' applications. Goodbye. We're gonna carry on with our work because we were working just now, but I decided to drag Josh to film this with me. Right. He very graciously agreed. Yeah. And this is the mood changing octopus. Have a great Chinese New Year, guys. Bye.